Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. And in this video, we will learn about the another important instruction that is work DAR. So what is this work DAR? For example, let's say that so we have a command in such a way that we are using the uh, run command. Oh, oh, sorry, not run command. So we will be using this copy command. And in this copy command, so what we will try to do? So we want to paste this index.html file into a file something like user slash share slash nginx slash html so this is the format we are using it right so now this is the total working directory or nothing but the current directory which we are trying to use it instead of mentioning it here so for example let's say that i want to copy the same thing uh, demo.html uh, to slash user slash share slash nginx slash html so that means in the two places we are using this directory instead of using it like this so we can mention at the top work dir so that means the working directory the current working directory we can change this one so the current working directory i can mention it something like slash user slash share slash nginx slash html i can use it and instead of using this one so that means the image will point directly to this one and directly you can use the current working directory here so that means the current working directory will become now for example demo.html we are having something like var slash ww slash html means you can mention it directly like this but here the current working directory will be always work directory will be user slash share slash nginx html for example after completing some certain point of instructions and all those things i want to change the work directory then i can use this work directory something like this so here i can use something like var slash ww slash html okay so then that means the copy demo.html here the working directory has been changed from user slash share slash this one to where slash ww slash html so that means i need to use here dot so like this we can use multiple working directories in our docker file instruction so that means what i am trying to tell in our docker file if you want to change the current working directory in the application or in the image so then we can use this work directory so now the current working directory will be always when the image is build is completed the last working directory instruction what you have provided so that instruction will be your current working directory and another thing you want to remember that if you are using work directory and when you create a container using that image okay so that image which we have built using this image so if you have if you are creating a container means then the container default the present the working directory will point to the last working directory that you have mentioned in our docker file so that means here the working directory which that you have mentioned last is the var slash html means then when you log in into the container the present working directory or the current directory will be always slash var slash ww slash html okay normally it will be the home directory right but this time it will mention it to the var slash ww slash html for example if you have not mentioned this working directory means then when you create a uh, work, uh, container then the work directory will be slash user slash nginx slash html i will try to show you this one so by logging into the container and i will try to show you that the present working directory so this is about the working directory so this one we will be using more on something like uh, when we are trying to use the run command add command copy command so these all the commands will be will be using right cmd entry point so whenever you are trying to use these all the commands we can use this work directory to move to the particular location to differ to point to the particular location so i will try to show you the practical implementation of this one so here this is our application right so here let's say that we are we are not having anything so let's try to have a copy command okay uh, so here i am inserting this one so here let's try to have a copy command so i want to move this index.html already we have this index.html right to user slash share slash nginx slash html so this is the place where i want to shift it okay instead of mentioning this one so we can mention a work directory for this so work directory i will try to mention user slash share slash nginx slash html okay and what we can do it here so you can mention it this one as dot so now the current working directory is this one so now the work directory is user slash nginx slash html so now i want to copy index.html to here so and also i want to copy the demo.html also so you can use this demo.html also to here that's it now if i try to save it and i will try to build this command sorry build this image so if you build this image it will take some time and it is taking upgrade so let it upgrade so now the image layer is finished now if i want to 
create the container so let's try to create the container i don't know where this container creation is there so let's try to check it so many are there so let's go to the container first i will remove this ubuntu demo and here i will try to create the container run hyphen d hyphen hyphen name ubuntu hyphen demo and i want to use the ubuntu sorry ubuntu hyphen demo the latest thing yeah that's it so now i am running the container so when i create the container automatically the container is created so now i want to log in into the container docker container exec okay so exec so we have used this exec right and what do we need to do hyphen t i and ubuntu hyphen demo so i want to use the bash now when you log in into this one see when i log in into this one the current working directory is nginx so if i try to check this pwd then you will be able to see the current working directory is user slash share share slash nginx html so why it is this one directly pointing to this location because in our image build we have mentioned the working directory as this one so that is the reason when you log in into a container automatically the container will log in into this present working directory okay so let's try to exit this one and i will delete this one also so let's go to the <coughs> let's go to the docker file again okay so let's say that so we have working directory this one right now i want to copy the same thing okay the same file so i want to copy the index.html and also the demo.html to the var slash www slash html right so now here again you can change the work directory okay so work directory slash var slash www slash html you can use it so now we have used it like this then there is no need to mention here the entire thing so you can mention directly dot that is nothing but current working directory so now when i try to execute this one oh sorry so when i try to execute this one so let's try to wq and i will build this image let's try to build this image so i am building this image so that means so now the current working directory has been changed from user slash share slash nginx slash html to the var slash ww slash html so let's try to create the container so i have deleted it yeah, yeah okay it has been deleted now i am trying to execute this one so create a new container so now when i try to log in into this container so let's try to log in into this container see this time it is been in the var slash ww slash html if you try to check the pwd here automatically so var slash ww slash html is there so that means so whatever the working directory you are mentioning at the end of this file so the last working directory whatever it is there so that working directory will be pointing to in the container so when you create a container using this image the present working directory will be the last working directory that you have mentioned so this is what about the work dir so hope you understood about this work dir thing so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel Thank you.